Uh, I'm Dale Engelhard, and in 1987, uh, for around Halloween, some girl who got me the Japanese animation said, you look like Lupin. Will you costume as Lupin for me at my Halloween party next week? I look like Lupin. Okay. Well, I did. And then I started going to Bacon in 1988, uh, which was about the only cool convention. It was a creation convention. It just didn't happen there. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are familiar with the creation convention. Bay Area Animation Convention, Bacon. Mm -hmm. General science fiction. Anime fans kind of get shoved in there too, you know, but it's like you have to wheedle in there with the vampires. And, you know, and everything else. And everybody else thinks their fandom is better than your fandom, you know, slice of science fiction fandom. So I was like, well, you're a little anime customer, and, you know, like, whatever. Okay. And then that's where I met my first costume partner, who was the dead ringer for the Lupin, part, uh, Lupin uh, accomplice, Jigen Daisuke. I didn't meet him. Somebody caught me in my costume in the hall for the first time and says, did Jeremy see you? One thing led to another, and it was like, well, he's around the corner. And I'm like, oh my god, there's somebody else doing a Lupin costume. And it's not Lupin, it's one of the gang. This is great. And we got together. And we just kind of bummed around the, in the halls for a couple of years. Mm. And the anime con happened. It was like a dream come true. A convention just for anime fans. And solely devoted to it. And, well, we got dragged. Uh, Jeremy and I got dragged into the actual stage production thing. That they put together at the last minute, by the way. AnimeCon had no costume thing planned. Not even so much as a walk on stage, model your... They didn't plan on it. It was just sort of a, we're here, we're in costume, we need time, you know, for the stage room and everything else. And it was basically Lisa Nelson, who's the Southern California K, Beth Strong. Uh, the other half, the other half, Yuri. Um, they had like put together this whole skit thing, you know, like lasted at least 22 minutes on stage, and they, you know, it's basically practically ran the show. And everybody else did their little add-ons, you know, in, in between and or after, and it just sort of started a tradition. With us. extremely long skits, <laughs> uh, extremely long, fascinating, imagine, you know, skits, you know, where we basically recreate our favorite anime characters, or just characters that, well, gee, I can put that costume together, you know, whatever. Um, which became a really cool tradition. So you see cons, and you like, want to think, oh, well, this is running, and this is a very popular thing. We must run it to death. Con security, tell them what we want them to do. In fact, at Anime America last year, ooh, I'm getting first tell, tell, tell us. At Anime America last year, they actually told us we can't pull out our prop guns because they'll think we're attacked. They, well, they're afraid the Japanese guests will think that they're being attacked, so that they promised that they would tackle us on stage if we came out with weapons. <laughs> We're talking about a really anal retentive con here. It's, 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 it's a very different streak from the fact oh. that they let me use edge weapons on stage last year. <laughs> <laughs> Him up, we don't maybe, care. maybe because the year before somebody actually broke their leg on stage. They, you know, but but they just really overreacted, overboard. Who broke their leg? Uh, Brian. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you were there. I was. Right. I forgot about that. Oh well. Anyways, I've been doing Lupin, and I keep ending up in <laughs> magazines, both in Japan, last year Brit Great Britain, and Anime UK, aka Anime. All hail the great Anime. Yes, and um, everything else, and it just has no end. This year I found out I'm in a Lupin movie program guide. <laughs> I was just picking it up. There's a new Lupin movie. I didn't know what it was called. I didn't even know it was out. So, Lupin, Dead or, Dead or Alive. Oh, wow. This, this must be Monkey Punch's special Lupin movie that he's been working on and everything else, because the character sounds very similar to the manga. But, you know, really slick and cool looking. And we're going, oh, we love Lupin. And it's like, second picture, down. 
was like me and this girl I graduated at Hall. She was a she was a girlfriend of one of the con security. Get this, she looks like Fujiko, so I just grab her. We need you for a photo opportunity. Her 225 pound buff boyfriend comes around this thing. Just as I was, the, you know, the photo opportunity's been pretty much done, but he, just as I was saying, we really need to use you next year. And it's like, use her for what? I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> well, she looks like this cartoon, what cartoon character? You know, obviously he's aware of the sometimes X rated versions of Japanese cartoons that are really But well, this is. Like, well, never mind, nice meeting you, see ya, you know, bye, pretty lady, you know. Yeah, you can, you can pick up this or die for a program if you want to see how So I'm really handy, handy at, look I'm really handy at utilizing my, my resources in the media area for, for, for like, photo opportunities or props or whatever I have. And it's like, case in point, last year, you guys see the, did you guys see the show last year? Yeah. Remember O'Reilly? Well, after we did our skit on stage, she says, well, who do I look like? Who do I look like? I want to do it in the costume, but I want to do a better character, more and more notorious, because she wants to paint. She likes what's going on with me and tells her, which one's pain? Well, I look at her and I look at the haircut. This is amazing. That one. Take off your glasses. And there it was. She was Clarice. It's like, fate. Somebody put a perfect Princess Clarice in my hands. And I was like, and I told her, and she was like, she hadn't seen Kelso come in the I had just given her my first she's recommendation she's to her. She was chaperoned by her mom throughout the whole conference. Mm -hmm. 14, well, 13 year old girl at the time. And so I gave him my list of recommended on the to watch. So I thought it was going to score on top of it. And they did. And next thing I know, about two weeks later, just before Anime America, I get these really cool photos of her in that outfit. And I'm going, I'm going to show these to Monkey Punch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I am so lucky I have a third and a female customer at that. You know, it's like, I have a Clarice! <laughs> That was Dale's introduction. Um, my name is uh, Taliesin Jaffe. Um, I'm quickly becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Notice he did not say recovery. <laughs> oh, hardly. Uh, no, I, was, I saw the sunrise yesterday morning in, in triumph after, after yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Um, I have been involved in anime for a good 11 years. I've, I've been going to uh, conventions for 10 years now. I've been involved for about 12 or 13 years. Uh, live in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's a fun drive. Um, and uh, we, we both live in Los Angeles. He, he lives just south of it. Um, and I used to live in kind of the Japanese, small Japanese district near, uh, near where I used to live. I used to just go rent my tapes, eight hours Japanese TV, Saint Seiya, Kepikino Kentaro, Dragon Ball, uh, City Hunter, whatever my parents wouldn't notice. Uh, uh -huh. No pop chaser ever, of course not. <laughs> but, no disrespect to the director guest. Uh, no disrespect at all. No. Uh, but you're a liar, though. <laughs> Big liar. Yes. Uh, basically, I I always had this weird thing about I, I always loved costumes. I loved costumes since I was three. I used to I used to walk around with like uh, the Superman costume underneath my clothes. It was just the type of thing I just really got a kick out of. I, I still dress pretty funky even when, you know, whenever I can. LA can get away with that kind of thing. Being well, gothic, you can get away with it. You can get away with it. Just in Alaska. Oh, yeah. That's my cloak. I like my cloak. Um, He's got several. But 
basically, uh, Anime Con was rolling around. This was just when I was finding out there were more people out there besides me. I thought I was the only one for many years. Uh, I tr attempted to go to my first convention, Shrine Con. Uh, it's difficult being a 12-year-old at a Shrine Con trying to get people to take you seriously. Uh, until I finally got into some weird debate over uh, with him by, you know, by uh, the Kimono My House booth over Dragon Ball or some such. It was Dragon Ball City Hunter debate. I can't quite remember what it was. It's really, it seems kind of stupid at the time, but now I'm looking back. But uh, basically he gives me a flyer for this uh, uh, a new motion club, kind of a CFO off branch. No, actually, um, we never had anything to do with CFO. The branch that kind of and by the way, the, the name A New Motion was my using of the word. A New Motion is like a new movement. Made a great time. And animation. So it was because good. I had a friend that told me, I don't want you to name your club Japan Animation this, Japanese this, I Animate this, whatever. Just try to have an American name that you know means you're an animation club. Well, this is what my, my only true pet peeve, pet peeve hey, is, word, is the word Japanimation. It just drives me insane every time I hear it. I just get this mental. Currently at my group, which has lasted five years, we run 12 to 14 hours of Japanese cartoons from 11 to 11 to 1 or whatever. Have you. Just, it's kind of like a uh, marathon thing. We just do it until everybody just wants to go home. <laughs> it's truly the, it was truly the scariest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. Um, <laughs> uh, fandom, fandom is a frightening thing, and I jumped in head first. Uh, I got my first costume together. It was Ryoga costume uh, for anime. Anime. Uh, it was anime, anime con, con back then. Anime con. The first. Uh, I had a blast. Well, the first. Uh, commercial. Never commercial. had that much. I've never had that much fun before. Uh, I immediately went to work on my next costume. Did a Inaba from Urusei Yatsura. Uh, and then, at that point, after Inaba from Urusei Yatsura, we went on to do a Japanese tele uh, game show. The group of us uh, called Narahoda the World. Uh, where basically Narahoda came to the USA, they got a bunch of US customers up on a roof and did a bunch of skits. And, and we not had, just California. And not just California. It was, it was probably the, the, the best group of customers that had ever been assembled on one abandoned <laughs> LA, downtown LA roof. On one warehouse in downtown L, in one abandoned warehouse in downtown LA in the 90 degree weather on top of a Warehouse that has like aluminum plating all we over it, so the sun will really reflect we had the, your uh, face. Anime SD and just cook there, you, and you were like a baked potato. Oh, uh, cooking in a rabbit suit. No, like, it was. <laughs> yeah. Not a little background information on Narahoda World. I later found out that Narahoda has been running for at least 15 years. It's a high-rated game show, which explains game. why they could spend all this money to fly uh, Mark Salisbury thing. out from what was it? No, Mark, Mark. Mark lived out in like uh, oh, Mark Arizona, or, or, or they or, flew or, him to L.A. Yeah, yeah, you know, back east, somewhere closer to here, you know, whatever have you. And, and next day, he aired his his SD Gundam costume, you know. Immediately, this thing is thing. so. And by the way, everybody who was like from out of state got to, you know, they paid for the hotel, they paid for their transportation, they paid their they catered their food. I lived in California, so I didn't get that. It was just like, show this, up on this day and be there. This place was six blocks from my house. I really was not expecting to see these people. Mary, Mary Hazelwood was there. It was just kind yeah, of Sorry for the direction of oh. Mary in her or, oh my or God. Just, uh, or the or, or demon just, costume, yeah. Seeing Mary, Mary actually and, and, has and one and of the better. Have you guys ever seen her if, husband David's costume? Yeah, he was dressed as speed racer. <laughs> we have it on video somewhere. We'll use it for blackmail next year. Yes. Um, but, yeah, um, Mary, Mary's, Mary's anyways, they, they collected... Oh man, it must have been 20 costumers. About 20. Yeah, about 20 costumers. And the ironic thing was, is that all these people, they flew and everything else, and it was like, uh, my friends, Beth and Lisa, wanted to see the script, wanted to see the script. Well, let's see the script, what did they have planned? And Beth puts it down, she goes, uh, it's about Dale and Jeremy and Don. It was pretty interesting. And it was like, what? Well, apparently the director only knew one animation show. Was it was Lupin, so hey, we were walking around Lupin. Chase sequence on the roof, you know, with us doing our little Lupin thing, Japanese dialogue, and, and then, you know, and they, and they of course, you know, do a little yeah, thing where they, yeah. where the, uh,